from Olivia. Dear Andrew Cleveland, just kidding. Uh, I love with ease. They put in these. I love your podcast. Learn so much every time I listen and value your opinion very much as I feel we have very similar worldviews and values. I would like your thoughts. My boyfriend of two years recently broke up with me. We were long distance for a while and we're just about to move in together. For a bit of background, he is obsessed with politics and one day wants to run for office. He wants to talk about politics all the time. It's all he researches. I loved his passion and had no problem with his obsession as I like to learn new things and learned a lot from him. His reason for breaking up with me is that he, he has always wanted to be with someone very similar to him, obsessed with politics. I'm struggling with moving forward as I keep begging him to change his mind. I thought we were going to get married one day and still love him with all my heart. We kept Christ in the center of our relationship and truly had an amazing relationship. After we broke up, he even said this was easily the best rela relationship he has ever had and that I am so amazing in every way. I was so blindsided by this. Do you have any insight for me from a guy's perspective? Maybe there's something I'm missing and he should be with someone more like him, though I think differences are a good thing. Well, first of all, let me give you a piece of advice. <laughs> all right, Olivia, that my piece of advice is this. Whatever girls do when their hearts are broken, do it. Uh, do it, get over them, move on. That's my advice. And I'll tell you why uh, in a sec. Whatever, you know, if it's eating chocolate like I see on TV or gathering with your girlfriends and talking it out and crying it out, whatever you got to do, do it and move on as quickly as possible because you want to be in a relationship that's going to develop and thrive. I can tell just by reading this that you are a person of great warmth, a person who is very giving, a person who's very open, open and loving and spiritual. This clown, <laughs> you deserve better than a clown who doesn't get that, okay? This clown made a big mistake and you got to let him live with that mistake and walk away and find somebody who appreciates what you are because you are going to be an incredibly valuable asset to any man who truly loves you and an incredibly valuable asset to the people you create together and the family you make t together and the guy the fact that this guy didn't know know that means he's not worth he's not worthy of you he's not worthy of you I, the things that he's saying I'm not going to tell you this is 100% true, but the things that he's saying make me think that you, you said that you were uh, long distance and he said, oh, he wanted somebody more like himself. That makes me think that he may be eyeing somebody who is more like himself and he thinks this is going to be better. And the reason I tell you to move on quickly, because if that's true, if he has somebody else in mind or he's even been seeing somebody else on the side without your knowing it while you guys were apart, eventually... Uh, Either that's going to work out for him and they'll be ha they'll live happily ever after, in which case you want to have moved on, or it's going to break down and he's going to come crawling back to you, in which case you want to have moved on. Uh, you are better than he is. And uh, I think you should just like take take the hint and find some, let your heart break, wipe, cry your tears, move on to somebody else.